Marcus Surgical in the tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Alina Nasse, and I have a quick tutorial for you for the use of split dams in endodontics, as well as this application for regular restorative dentistry. Oftentimes, a single hole is made into a rubber dam, and the tooth is isolated individually. However, when the tooth cannot be isolated with a clamp, uh, or cannot be clamped, a split dam technique is used in which the tooth distal to the tooth in question is clamped, and the rubber dam is pulled over uh, that tooth and the tooth in front of it. Here I'm using the clamp, uh, Hugh Freddy's clamp 13A in order to isolate tooth number three and then pull the rubber dam over tooth number four which is going to be treated. After placement of the rubber dam and the clamp in place, the rubber dam is pulled through. Here I'm using the mesial area of tooth number five to secure the rubber dam. Generally, running the rubber dam through the contact area might be enough. However, passing a floss through that will secure the rubber dam better. You could also use widgets. There's a product that is a, a thicker type of a rubbery floss that keeps the rubber dam in place. Then, this uh, product by Ultradent called Opal Dam it may be used, which is essentially a, a light cured resin that is applied to the area. This material is also used during bleaching in the anterior area to isolate the gums uh, and keep them away from uh, the hydrogen peroxide. Here the application is to seal the areas of uh, the gingiva and exposed, exposed gingiva and areas around the rubber dam where potential leakage of the saliva and air from the patient's breath is possible. And also the 